the universe has infinite power, he can control all, everything in the world cannot be separated from him, including you and I are no exception. This force is called the law of attraction, the universe can give you everything you can't imagine. If you want to use this power to change your life, let it bring you wealth, happiness, health, positivity, optimism, hope, love and so on. Watch Change Your Life Action, the YouTube channel, which allows you to get everything you want, watch immediately. Remember to subscribe to YouTube channel. It's best to click on this bell-shaped icon, so that you're the first to receive a new video. It can make a perfect change in your life. Let's start watching now, today's title is How to stop emotional eating with mindful eating techniques. Emotional eating is incredibly common, but it's also widely misunderstood. Do you ever find yourself eating candy or big bags of chips after a hard day at work, often without seeming to make a conscious decision to do this? Do your diet plans immediately fail whenever you have relationship problems, financial worries or self-doubts? If you think that this picture sounds eerily familiar, you're not alone. Emotional eating can be a source of shame and frustration, but there are ways to beat it. The trick is to learn more about your triggers and develop a pattern of mindful eating that replaces the old, self-destructive pattern of being an emotional eater. This guide could help you change for the better and learn to see food in a more positive light again. Am I really hungry? Emotional hunger or physical hunger? When your body needs fuel, you experience physical hunger. You can sate this hunger with almost any food, while emotional hunger typically presents in the form of cravings. If you're going to avoid emotional eating in the future, you first need to get a better sense of where your emotional hunger comes from in the first place. The most common things that contribute to a pattern of emotional eating are, lack of awareness, you're more likely to eat too much when you eat unconsciously, paying no attention to what you're putting in your mouth, which often results in binge eating. Difficulty tolerating emotions, like drugs and alcohol, food can provide a form of self-medicating that temporarily gets rid of negative feelings. A desire for pleasure, similarly, you may view food as the only thing in life to look forward to. If so, you'll typically end up eating it in order to feel good. Negative body image, while it might sound odd, psychologists caution that negative self-image actually promotes overeating. Check in with yourself and take a mindful moment. There are specific steps you can take to maximize your chances of reducing emotional eating. The main goal is to develop a pattern of mindful eating instead. We'll take you through the necessary steps to become a mindful eater. The simpler than you think. 1. First, note that when we feel hungry the automatic response is to eat. So, when you feel a pang in your stomach, you'll most likely go straight for a snack without even stopping to think. If you learn to slow this down, adding in a step between feeling and acting, you'll more often stop emotional eating in its tracks. 2. The next time you feel hungry, deliberately take a mindful moment ask yourself, am I physically or emotionally hungry? If you're not sure, consider whether you have a craving, a sign of emotional hunger. Chances are if you'd bypass a banana to get to a chocolate bar, you're meeting an emotional need, not a physical one. 3. In addition, reflect on whether the hunger has come on suddenly. This immediacy is also common with emotional eating. If the above helps you realize you're emotionally, rather than physically, hungry, ask yourself this follow-up, what am I feeling? This will clue you into why you're emotionally hungry, and also give you a chance to think of other ways to meet your need. All of these questions create a bigger gap between feeling an urge to eat and actually eating. And in time, conscious decision-making about food should become the norm, not the exception. Write it down and identify your emotional eating triggers. Emotional eating always has specific triggers, and finding them is half the battle. Stage 2 of your mindful eating plan is all about identifying the triggers and making them tangible. You can use a notebook to start a food journal, or simply make notes on your phone or computer. Regardless of the format, the key thing you need to do is write down the time of day, add a description of how you feel and identify why you're feeling it. 
If you have a craving for a specific type of food, note that down as well. So, for example, you might note that you felt hungry at 3 pm and that you particularly wanted chips. Then, you might add that you're feeling sad because you're missing an ex-partner. Over time, you'll see patterns emerging in your food journal. These patterns will help you draw connections between specific cravings and specific emotional needs. The process may also help you uncover the unfinished business that you can actively work to address. In the above example, trying to get back into the dating world might be how you nullify that craving or talking about the relationship in therapy might be what you need. Make decisions that will serve you better. The next part of the mindful eating journey is all about making better choices. So, you're now applying what you've learned through your self-reflection. If you go through the above steps and find that you're truly physically hungry, you might be able to put off that physical hunger until a meal time, reducing your overall calorie intake and helping you stay in shape. Alternatively, you might realize you've not eaten enough today and really need to cook something. These are both good ways to respond to genuine physical hunger, depending on your body's needs. Meanwhile, when you're emotionally hungry, you won't always be able to avoid eating through willpower alone. In these cases, your strategy becomes less about stopping yourself from eating and more about eating better things. Find a substitute food. Finding a substitute food can be a lifesaver in your battle against emotional eating. A good trick is to think about the dominant flavor and go from there. So, if it's chocolate you're craving, what sweet but healthy thing can you eat? Fruit is the obvious choice. Meanwhile, you can replace salty potato chips with low-fat seasoned popcorn. In some cases, what you eat will be close enough to your craved food that you feel better. Then, you can experiment with eating less of it. Eventually, you may not experience the automatic craving at all. Effectively, you'll have trained your body and mind out of relying on food in this way. Find a positive activity to distract yourself from emotional eating. Although the substitute food strategy can be a powerful one, the best thing you could do is replace emotional eating with healthy behaviors. So, to go back to your food journal, it's time to add a new dimension to your notes. Specifically, each time you note something down, challenge yourself to find another way to make yourself feel better, something that doesn't involve food. Make sure that it's positive, and not just another unhealthy strategy. For some people, the interpersonal connection makes all the difference. Could you call a friend, make a date to see a family member, or even cuddle a pet? For others, physical comfort of another type can help. For example, try a luxurious bubble bath, reading by candlelight, or snuggling up under a blanket to watch a film. Inspiration can also jolt you out of emotional eating. Basically, self-care plans or any kind of positive activities like reading success stories, watching TED Talks or listening to motivational music can be good. Finally, though it may sound counterintuitive, try exercising instead of eating. It makes you feel good about yourself, rewards you for activity and boosts energy. Plus, there are many different forms of exercise, so you don't need to stick to the treadmill. Dancing, water aerobics, horse riding and cycling are all fun ways to get an emotional lift without empty calories. Eat consciously. Most of us just shovel food into our mouths, but, as mentioned above, this is a major trigger for overeating. Ways to develop positive habits for conscious and healthy eating as a daily habit, 1. Take several deep breaths as you sit down to eat. 2. Before you take a bite, give thanks for your food. This doesn't need to be a religious exercise, though it can be. Simply take a moment to appreciate your good fortune. 3. Ensure you're sitting comfortably, with good posture. 4. Chew your food slowly and thoroughly. You should aim for at least a minute between each mouthful. 5. Make an effort to taste your food, rather than simply consume it. What ingredients do you notice? What spices or herbs stand out? 6. Pay attention to your body's signals, and stop eating when you feel full. It doesn't matter if there's still food on your plate, you can give it to someone else, or take leftovers to a homeless shelter. Healthy Eating Affirmations 
Finally, over time, healthy eating affirmations could help reshape your negative and self-destructive beliefs about food. There's a shaming, self-destructive culture around food. It tells us we're bad or disgusting if we have difficulty with emotional eating. When you form new, happier attitudes about eating, this actually reduces your likelihood of eating too much. As with all affirmations, it's important to get the wording right and tailor the affirmation to your preferences. However, here are some excellent examples to get you started, I am lucky to have everything I need to make delicious, healthy meals. My body gets stronger, healthier and more powerful with each new bite I take. I choose to love, respect and honor my body. I dedicate this time to nurturing myself. We are all worth the energy, time and effort we spend on caring for our bodies. I no longer need or crave foods that don't improve my health. Although most affirmations are best said in the morning, food-based phrases are best said during meal preparation or just before eating. You can also write them down and pin them on the fridge or cupboards. Seeing your affirmations could give you pause if you're tempted to fall back into emotional eating. Do you want your life to be better and better? Do you want your finances to be stable? Do you want to find an ideal lover? I believe that you always want to have both career and love. Have you found solution yet? We already have the answer for you. All the answers are for you. Click on the link in the description below my video. Click here, show more. To see more details description. All you need is here. Subscribe to our channel, you'll be the first to receive the latest video, and click on the link in the description below the video to find your own answer. I believe the valuable answer will change your life. That's the end of today's video. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment. If you find it interesting, bye, and see you again in the next videos.